my name is uh, Elaine, Elena Smith. Um, I got arrested. We were down by the, I think it's called the, no, is it Novotel Hotel? Um, we were down there um, just having a, a peaceful gathering. Um, and the, and the uh, police uh, all of a sudden like surrounded us, like the whole like riot team with riot gear started us on both sides and then filtered in so they were covering both walls. And so we all just sat down and I just sat down and me and my friends and we just put the peace sign up and just and just and just and just like and they kept like stomping forward and like hitting their things and moving a couple steps forward and then hitting their things and moving a couple steps forward. But they never told us to disperse and never told us it was unlawful or anything. They just suddenly got there and started doing it. And then they never talked to us or said, Hey, you all gotta leave or anything. And, um, and then all of a sudden, like, I was in the very front row, and they just started coming and picking people up and running them behind lines, and then the line would close in, and then they'd go grab another person and run them behind lines, and then they came and grabbed uh, me and my friend Justin and ran us behind lines, and, and so that we were being arrested for breach of the peace, and I was like, well, I didn't breach the peace, you know? I'm, uh, I, didn't, I didn't, you know, break any, I didn't do anything unpeaceful, and, um, they said that, that it was, that the officer who was arresting me said it was to prevent anything, us from doing anything that could break the peace, like as a preventive charge, but he said that I could be taken like here and just do some paperwork on me and I would definitely be released within an hour. That's what he told me and that was like a day and a half ago, like, or not I mean a day and a half, but like a long time ago. Um, it was... Uh, um, that was at like 10 o'clock, not last night, but the night before that. And um, Saturday and said, night? Huh? Saturday night? Yeah, Saturday night. And he said, um, and he said, and I said, well, so you had us surround, because he said, you know, I just wanted you guys to leave. And he said, he said, well, I, I said, well, you had us completely surrounded. I don't know where we're supposed to go, you know? And he said, um, he said, well, if a group of you would have just gotten up, and and came and came towards us we would have just parted and let you through and like i was like yeah right because everybody knows that's entirely not true if you a group of us would have got up and started running towards them like who knows what would have happened what were the conditions like inside um like not good i mean like they took your um like you got in there and in my first like the original one well um first of all i was in the as in the van for the cop, the, like the cop trial, paddy wagon, I think you guys call it in Canada, for over like over two hours, just sitting, in, just sitting there waiting, and then the first cell they put me in, I was, there was 40 girls in it, and like a lot of them had to stand up because there wasn't even room for them to sit down, and um, and there was 40 of us, and we just asked and asked and asked for water, and then they went and searched me and I had to take off my bra because it was a weapon and take out your hair ties because those were weapons too and they had to take my shoes completely because those were weapons and then um, so, we, so you just had to walk around barefoot and then eventually they gave you socks but it was just so cold and we kept asking them to turn down the heat or, or I mean turn down the air conditioning because we had to lay on the, on the cement and it was just so 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 cold and then they transferred me to a, another cell um, um, down the way, like once I had gotten done being searched and everything, which was like a whole another invasive process of itself. But um, and so we got down there and we got there, and I was in that one for I don't know how many hours. And I think the whole time they came around and I got I got two sandwiches in the 27 hours I was in there. I got two sandwiches. And I think I got water maybe four times, just like a little cup like that. And did they say uh, they were going to charge you with anything? Um, they told me. Well, original when I went in the in the middle room, they told me they were going to charge me with breach of the peace. And then, um, and we kept asking for a lawyer, lawyer, lawyer. We need to call our lawyer because we have the number written on our arm, and they wouldn't let us call a lawyer, or contact a lawyer. Then eventually, about an hour and a half ago, they let me um, contact a legal duty counsel. I think it's called in there. And she said that I would, the worst case scenario, I would have to stay because I'm a United States citizen. And she said since I wouldn't have anybody to pay my um, uh, bail, that I would have to stay and have a court thing. But apparently I don't, because I just asked them right now, and they said that um, that all charges were being dropped, 
but on is on the condition that you we not go to any more protests and we're not allowed to go in the downtown area and if we're arrested in the downtown area or any protests or doing anything this is this we're going to be arrested for whatever we're arrested for then and then plus this is going to come back to and it's going to be called um we're going to be also charged with uh preach of the priest and um um, I'm sorry, I can't think of what it's called. Something with authority. Um, not assaulting authority, but resisting resisting authorities. If we did, if we went back to any more protests, or we... Or so did we, you sign anything? What? Did you sign anything? No, he asked us. Uh, he asked, or he asked us, like, he just said verbally, and, and he, like, he, was, he was like, do you all understand that? And everyone nodded.